today we're making Thai red soup. Uh, so we'll run you through some of the ingredients here. We've got prawns, uh, some hoikan noodles, some sprouts, coriander, Jesse's favourite, red Thai curry paste, uh, palm sugar, everything. Oh, heaps of goodness. It's going to be great and a real winter warmer. Over to you, Mel. So what are we making today? Today we're going to make a Thai prawn soup, oh, mate. Yum! Something, something warm, real hearty. Um, and flavoursome. Oh, the flavours are, uh, uh, yeah, it's a goodie. OK, so you um, went through the recipe before with the ingredients anyway. Yeah, so I've covered that off. So what yep. I'm going to get you to do for the start, we just need these shallots or these onions, just, um, we're going to put them in some rice flour. OK. And if you could do that and then fry them off in the oil that we've got going over there. OK, so cool. I'll pass it over to you. There's your um. So what, your what are we putting them in rice flour for? It's just, it's going to be a coating. coating. So right. it's just, just giving them a bit of a crunch when we're, when we're biting in. Um, and we're going to use this, this will be a garnish at the end. Sorry, excuse me, I'll just... Get this okay, pan nice. going, going here. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, I'm going to um, start frying off our curry paste, um, which will start like, making this place smell really, really good. Okay, is that enough flour, you reckon? Yeah, yep, oh, no, cool. that's, that's heaps. Okay, now gently. Now, I watched a little tip before. Travis uh, heated up the oil and uh, he was using a thermometer. And I said, Why are you using a thermometer? Uh, and he said, Well, because you've got to get your temperature right. He once cooked chicken at 270 <laughs> degrees. The chicken wasn't so good, was it? No, no, no. no. So uh, now what, he uses a thermometer, which is a good tip to use. So what's optimal? About 170. Yeah, about 170. That's going to give. And we don't want to overcook them because right. if we overcook them, um, they, they'll get a, they take on a bitter taste. Okay, cool. Same as he likes your garlic and that as well. Um, so while you're doing that, I'm going to start cooking off this this paste. Okay, nice. And when that comes up, we're just going to start sort of adding more of our um, aromatics in there. So there's going to be some um, lime leaf going as well. Not a lot, just enough to give it a bit of a zing. Ginger. Um, I don't know. Mark's probably covered it off before, but a good easy way for peeling your ginger is actually using a spoon. Yeah. And you just scrape it down, and the skin comes off fairly. Oh. Fairly easy. Oh, that's that's economical because I usually just chop it off and then yeah. I end up using, wasting half the garlic. Yeah, so is that about right for your shallots? Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, we can just turn the turn the heat right off on there now. Cool. So we don't um, over, them. overcook them. So okay. just well I've peeled that. Get this bit off. I'm going to dice this and throw it throw it in there with them. What do you think is the most important part of this ingredients? Is it getting well, your base flavour right? Well, the base. Yeah, and it, that, that's dead right and coming out with that. Um, so the prawns are a very delicate flesh, like they're something that doesn't take much cooking at all. Mm -hmm. So really we're building up a sauce base to, um, to, to really supplement the, um, the prawns. Right. Is that about right? Turn down. Yeah, that's good, mate. Okay, cool. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit there. Give it a stir. Um, also in there, there's going to be a bit of lime leaf going. Lime leaf's quite a hard... Quite a hard herb, right? So you've actually got to give it a bit of a give it a bit of a hiding first before it goes <laughs> in. So back of the knife, I just run it down and give it a good bashing. Nice. And then just slice it up so it's not too um, too chunky there in, in our sauce. And you know, do you bash it to release the flavours or bash it well, to make it easier to Well, it is. The these cut? these these herbs have a lot of oils in them. Okay. So by doing that, that's what we're that's what we're releasing. Get that in here as well. Oh yeah. You can smell that. Good. That's fragrant, yeah, isn't, it? isn't it? That's so good. Honestly, incredible. And you know what? Once you've got all your all your ingredients, just give this a go. We take you through the process. The recipe is at thecafe.co.nz. We'll even add a video so you can just put the video next to your kitchen and follow it step by step. What was that? That was our chicken stock chicken going stock, in. So just yep. 250 mils. Now we want to bring that to the boil. Yep. And once that's put, come to the boil, we're going to add our coconut cream in. Okay, brilliant. Good work. Well, we're on fire here today. First, though, we need to finish off this delicious Thai prawn soup with Travis. Uh, so we've got the shallots done. You've got your base here bubbling away. What do you do with it? Looks yep. fantastic. So we're just, we're just going to reduce it in size. Yep. So we're just going to let it slowly simmer down. Okay. While we do that, I'll take these noodles, and I've got boiling hot water here. I'm just going to cover them, put some uh, glad wrap over the top, Yes. and that's that's all it takes for them. That's cool. all, all it's done for okay. part of the cooking. Soften them up, get them ready. And mm. while we do that, from there, we're moving to the next stage. So we want to start balancing out the flavours that are there in the um, there in the pan. Yep. So I'll just get these quickly out of our way. Okay, good. You can get the recipe at cafe.co.nz. Um, palm sugar. Yes. We'll add a bit in there. Okay. Um, we'll just grate that in, and that's going to start to take take on some of the tartness that you know the, the, the more spicier side of things. It's it'll balance it out. Good, I like that. <laughs> um, lime juice. Yep. That's going to cut through it as well. That's going to help with the, all the coconut cream. Okay, very good. That's in there. Uh, we've got fish sauce. Mm-hmm. 
just to be the savoury side of things. And then we've got our green sprout or our snow peas. So I just normally just like to give them a bit of a, a cut. I try and keep them whole, yes. So we'll just cut, you know, roughly through half. That's, you know, it doesn't need to be pretty. Right. Um, and we put those in there as well, so they can start to cook. Now, our prawns, is a very, as I said before, is a very delicate, soft meat. So it just, they're not going to take a lot of time. So we're probably looking at about three minutes okay. of once they're in there for them to be cooked. Um, now, I don't know, other people might tell me off for this or not. I, <laughs> I'm not a big prawn cleaner. Okay. Um, it doesn't bother me what's left behind. Um, that's from the ocean, it's healthy. That's right. like a little line of seaweed. Right. As far as a, a little line of seaweed. A little line of seaweed. That's, seaweed. that's, that's good for you. That, that, that helps us out. So we're going to add those now. Okay, um, There's sweet. about 400 grams there. Right. And we'll just let them, them cook off. That, again, is on a low heat, so it's, um, we don't want to overcook them. Well, it's starting to smell delicious. Um, you've done these shallots for us earlier on. Yep. Um, so we're pretty much good to go. We've got our, our trimmings here at the end that we're going to dress up the, the plate with. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, we'll just let that slowly let that reduce down. Away. It's probably about another five minutes. What would, or, no, sorry, less than that, because the prawns are in there, three minutes. So, um, what, yeah. What it's... would be your number one tip for making this, you reckon? What's the most important part? Just making sure you've got your balance right and your flavours with your acidity, with the lime juice to cut through the sweetness of the coconut cream. Right. So just, just finding that balance. You don't want it too sweet and you don't want it too tarty. That's when you do the old taste. Yeah, while taste you're all, all along. So we could nice. even... We could even have a wee taste now, but I already know it's delicious. You already know it's delicious. Yeah. Okay, good work. What do you reckon? Happy? I'm happy. He's happy. Mm. That's good. We will find out how it tastes a little later on when I chow down on it, no doubt. But mate, good. Let's let's finish this dish off. So I'm going to put it together now. Um, our noodles. I've drained the water off. Just want enough in the bottom of the bowl there. Serve up, you know, just a small handful per person. We'll add our um, beans in, bean sprouts over the top. That's going to add a bit of crunch in there. Mm. Ooh. Jesus, it smells good. Ooh. Yummy. Ladle these in. Double prawns for me, please. More prawns yep. for you? Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. coriander, thanks. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> easy on the coriander. <laughs> the best oh. bit, Jesse. Our fried shallots, just oh, add yes. a bit of texture. Done professionally by myself and my dad. A little bit of coriander. Nice work. Okay, bring it on. over, bring it <laughs> over. <laughs> Here I come. Oh, nice. Here you go. Oh, that looks fantastic. And smells incredible.